Robert here. Today I am going to repair scratch on the stanchion of my practically brand new box fork. This is going to be a relatively straightforward process and the primary objective is quite simple to get it as smooth as possible so I don't damage the oil seal. So let's get started and we'll see how it turns out. Here are the materials I'm going to use for the repair. I've got electrical tape. These are alcohol pads I'll use to clean the area. These are the straight edge razors I'll use to scrape down the scratch itself. Nail polish, which will fill in the scratch. I'll apply that with these toothpicks to get as small as area as possible. And then I will use 2,000 and 2,500 grit sandpaper as the final step. Clean the stanchion with alcohol pad. Rub off alcohol with a clean cloth. Hopefully one doesn't have any lint. Now we're gonna actually reduce the level of the scratch, getting off any burrs on this larger one as well as on this small one. This is not gonna scratch the stanchion itself. This is a really super hard material. I'm gonna come in it at a 45 degree angle, both a down and upward motion. Coming up as smooth as possible. Both, both of them at the same time. Since they're close together and then down again, back up and being sure to continue cleaning the blade. So there's in case there's any particles left off there. So I've actually gone over this prior to the video. So I'm demonstrating the, the procedure again at a 45 degree angle coming up. It seems to be a little easier when you're pulling versus pushing but you don't want to go too hard into it. This one still has a little bit of a rise. So I'm taking it off here. You're still going to feel the indentation, which of course is why we're using the polish. But in terms of actually any burrs coming up, none to be seen. Okay, so we're going to clean it once more, get off any fingerprints and oil residues. I'm going to use some electrical tape around the stanchion just to avoid any overlay of the paint in case it runs a little bit. It's going to be easier to deal with later. See how close I got there to the edge. Now I'm going to do it to the other side. So instead of using this fat brush directly on the scratch, I'm going to actually take it out, pile a little bit up here so I can use the toothpick to dip this. I have a smaller area for the scratch itself. Using the toothpick, I'm going to dab in here. As you can see, it's building up pretty nicely for two reasons primarily a I want to make sure that the scratch is filled in completely uh, particularly when it dries could have a tendency not to fill and also if I have a little extra coming out of it it'll be easier to scrape it off and see if there's uh, any imperfections I just finished the same process with the smaller scratches since they weren't as deep or severe I didn't have to put so much paint on there. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours, and then tomorrow we'll come back, continue with the scraping, and final touches. Okay, here we go. This is 24 hours later. The paint is dry and hardened, so let's take this tape off and see what we're working with. So here's the moment of truth. We'll scrape it, see how smooth we can get it. And more importantly in this instance, to make sure that the paint has filled all of the uh, indentations made by the scratch. I'm gonna come at it from the top here first. Oh, it's coming out very nicely. It almost feels like it's peeling off. Okay, it's moving out a little bit now. So the finger touch, that feels really nice and smooth. I'm sure under a microscope it would, scratches would still be there, but for purposes of what we're trying to do, we're not gonna bring it back to brand new. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to go in with the sandpaper, the wet sandpaper. As you can see, I'm using a 2000 grit. I have the 2500. We're going to try that one out first. So again, I'm going to go in and clean it with the alcohol pad. Come in with the rag. Still a bit of a feeling of an edge here, so let's see what we got. I'm not going to press too hard in one area. I'm trying to keep the pressure even. This one's feeling nice and smooth. Now let's try the big one. Pretty darn smooth. We'll do one more pass. Okay, now we're going to go in with the 2500 grit. The objective here is to get it as smooth as possible. If there's any tiny edges, try to bring them down without damaging the stanchion itself. Yeah. Okay, there it is. That is as good as it's going to get. I was expecting the black nail polish, maybe it was going to keep this part black. It uh, doesn't seem that it's going to do that. Alternatively, I use a black magic marker. It's just cosmetic, but that's okay. So it is pretty darn smooth. Quite happy how it came out. I still see them, in fact. doesn't look great, but man, that is really super smooth okay i will call that mission accomplished definitely not 100 percent uh, but certainly better than it was let's get it back on the bike and take it out for a ride okay guys there it is stanchion is repaired now we'll see how it holds up in the field if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section and if you don't mind Give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful. As always, this is your Intrepid Traveler, Roberto, over and out.